The idea that you're not promoting the idea that gay people are something to be feared or that there's any threat from gay people or that you say anything against gay people is belied by your own words. The idea that you're not promoting cures when you say that change is possible, change, changing from homosexuality to heterosexuality is possible, is a matter of semantics. Um, but I want to raise this issue of what causes homosexuality, which you point out is, is central to your way of thinking. Your most recent book, Gay Children, Straight Parents, which again says nothing about changing people from being gay on their cover, which I think I resent okay. regardless. Page 72 through 74, you say, uh, among the list of factors that may lead to homosexual desires, yes. divorce, death of a parent, adoption, religion, race. Race? That's Race. not in there. Yes, it is. Here I am, page 75 of your book with your name on the cover. Okay. i got to ask you, um, every <laughs> single one of those ideas is insane to me. I mean, the idea that divorce makes you gay, for example, seems no, insane no, no, to no, me. No, 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 no. You've you're, described it as a factor that contributes to homosexuality <laughs> desire, okay? You're taking it out of context, no, Rachel. No, I'm reading it from your book, dude. But, yeah, but read, 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 read what it says before the factors. It says there are many causes. It's never one thing alone. It's confounding of factors that leads anybody to have homosexuality. Sexual feelings. So it is important. Taking... I'll read you. It is important to understand why your child or loved one experiences same-sex attraction. Correct. You may ask yourself, "What did I do wrong? What did we do wrong? Who did this to our child?" Rarely is one thing alone responsible for same-sex attraction. It's the result of a combination of variables. Following is a list of ten factors that may lead to homosexual desires, and under other factors, number ten: divorce, death of a parent, adoption, religion, race. Now, read, how exactly read, does can... race make you gay? What are you talking? about uh, keep reading what the book says about race no about that what's under that you just read the heading now read the rest of the text. divorce death of a parent adoption religion race rejection by opposite sex peers you go into the rejection about you want me to read you about the rejection of an opposite sex peer I'm not sure I have the stomach for that an adopted child <laughs> a boy with a fragile sense of gender identity let me ask you about what you said here how does race make a person gay Okay. It's your book. The main factors that will lead somebody to experience same-sex attraction. Again, it's multifactorial, but basically, boy doesn't bond well with his dad. No, wait. The well, girl I, no, with specifically, her I want to ask you mother. why you included race there. How does race make you gay? It doesn't. Okay. All right. Are you a licensed therapist? I have practiced psychotherapy under the requirements of every state that I practiced in and resided in over the last 20 years and I've helped thousands of men and women come out of homosexuality. Art, but you're not, you're not licensed. No, I'm not, but I've always practiced within the legal requirements of every state. The American Counseling Association uh, kicked you out in yes. 2002 or 2003 for ethical yes. reasons. Are you, are you certified as any sort of clinician the, at all? The American Counseling Association, actually I'm glad you brought it up. I'm the victim, Rachel, of a hate crime. Hmm. They took the heinous complaint of one client and used that as an excuse to kick me out of their non-licensing trade organization. The acting president was a gay man. They don't like our work and it's a lack of tolerance on their part they don't allow people the right of self-determination to choose if they wish to come out of homosexuality so shame on the ACA for I their intolerance. I will say that the ACA kicked you out because of ethical requirement, eth because of ethical concerns about your financial relationship with your clients and using them no. to promote yourself do you know not what, because yes, they do you know think what? you're anti-gay but I, I think it's important to note though and I, and I want just in case this gets heard in Uganda or in any other country where yes. they're considering basing anti-gay legislation to remove all human rights uh, from gay people on the basis of your claim that gay people don't have to be that way if they don't want to be. If anybody's watching this anywhere in the world because you're considering using this, I want you to know that Richard Cohen is not licensed by any American or any other uh, 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 licensing body whatsoever. And I, and, I, and I think that you have represented yourself, especially by putting your master's degree behind your name on the cover of your book, as if you're an authority here, as if you I represent some sort of... professional psycho therapist Rachel and my credentials are that I came out of homosexuality I've been married 27 and a half years to my beautiful wife we have three great children and again over 20 years I've helped thousands of men and women in this country and worldwide come out of homosexuality change is possible dot com we know that people can change if they want to we do not support this Ugandan legislation people who have same-sex attractions whether they choose to live a homosexual life
like yourself, Rachel, or like me, who made a decision to come out of it, we all need to be treated with respect, love, and compassion. Because your credentials are not scientific and they're not professional. I, but have, they are I because, have a wait, degree wait, wait, in psychotherapy. Beca- you just said because they are, but the, you're not licensed by any by any accrediting body. And so you're, you've just stated that your credentials are your personal experience of not being gay anymore. If those are the basis of your credentials, I feel like, although this is weird for me to ask you because it's personal, I have to ask you. Because it's the basis on which you make these claims that are being unfortunately taken seriously all around the world. Since you have been married, have you been attracted to men? Have you ever had a relationship with a man since you got married? If you read my book, Coming Out Straight, and I know you have it, you've been looking at it today, so you know the answer to this question already. You're just in the beginning of the relationship. I was told before marriage, find the right woman and she'll straighten you out. And that was ridiculous. So what I learned in my own healing process and in my own journey was that I wasn't looking for a sexual relationship with a man. I was trying to experience the unobtained bond that never happened with my dad and myself and with other guys in pre-adolescence. Then after puberty, those needs become sexualized. So when I healed those wounds and when I experienced healthy love with guys, my same-sex attractions left me, Rachel, and I'm living my dream today. It should be noted, though, that when other people, like the promoter of the anti-gay kill the gays legislation in Uganda cites you as an inspiration. He's not only talking about the things that are in your book that you say you'll now take out. He's also talking about your marriage as evidence of your cure, uh, as the fact that you've come out of homosexuality and been cured by the fact that you're married. So the fact that you continue to have same-sex relationships even after I getting did, married. Uh, you, well, you're is, mischaracterizing that. I, I, as I said, I got married stupidly. People who say get married, it'll take it away are ridiculous. Okay. I was only looking for the right kind of love that's one reason I became a therapist because people didn't know how to help me then and so I was told like you were saying just pray and God will take it away it doesn't work like that because there's deep psychological reasons for this when I dealt with them since that time Rachel I am strictly attracted to my wife and to women it's not on my radar screen change is really possible I will just note for the record that all responsible professional authorities in this field report that change is not really possible. There's no evidence of what Mr. Cohen uh, suggests. Oh, there's many studies. He's operating uh, an organization that would like to sell you a lot of products that would convince you that it is true. Mr. Cohen, uh, I I wish you personal good luck. Um, I thank you for taking the time to come on the show. I know you've been unhappy with our conversation conversation about your work thus far, but I hope at least you feel that you've been treated fairly tonight. Thank you, Rachel. I appreciate it very much. Thanks very much. Richard Cohen is the author of...